Some girls are shy and don't want to initiate at all, which is totally understandable. I'm also like that too. I mean, why bother talking to others when your three best friends, me, myself, and I are so similar to each other? At least you know they won't reject you. Anyways, I'm getting off topic here. Sometimes girls want to venture out but don't want to go out too far so they'll see if they can attract the right mate to come by. In this case, it's you. If you're not too sure about this, here are 10 signs a girl wants you to notice her. Number 1. She's clumsy around you. Oops, she just dropped a stack of paper on the floor. Are you going to help her pick it up? Of course you will, you're not a jerk. But did you know what she did there? She got you to notice her, didn't she? You know those cliche movies where the girl drops a book in front of her crush or accidentally bumps into her crush and they lock eye for a brief moment? Yeah, I'm not sure if she's trying to do that, but if she does do that, that's pretty cute I think. <laughs> Number 2. She gets physical with you. Again, if you've seen my other videos, it's not what you think. My mind is clean, okay? Gotta keep this channel somewhat PG, but some of the common signs would be giving you hugs every time when she sees you or when you leave, or that she sits really close to you and your hip, arm, and shoulder is practically touching each other. Oh, and if she basically sits on your lap, she's all yours. Number 3. She calls you names. Some common name calls would be dork, jerk, meanie, nerd, or geek. It's just a way to tease you and get your attention. Plus, it's also flirty too. I mean, when a girl calls you names, I would totally give them a stare down like, why did I deserve that name nerd? But then again in the past, I gamed like 6 hours a day every day after school on the Xbox. I might have deserved that. And guess what? I still got the girl. But in my dreams though, after coming to a crash to 5 cans of energy drinks, yeah, don't drink too much of those. Number 4. She laughs with you and to your corny jokes. Laughter is one of the best way to get noticed because she knows that it's a good way to get close to you. I mean, who doesn't want to be around someone who's always full of joy and laughter? It's contagious. Plus, who doesn't want someone to be laughing at the joke? If she's always giggling, I bet you'll at least acknowledge her and question why is this girl always giggling? And bam, if you did that, you just notice her and her mission is accomplished. Number 5. She's always around you. This is probably the best way to get more exposure and get noticed. If she keeps popping up over and over again and looking at you, she's probably interested in you. It's like marketing. After showing the ad like 7 or 10 times, it gets ingrained in your mind. So what she's doing is she's probably cementing herself in your mind so you can go and at least say hi to her. So do it and just say hi. She won't bite. I promise. Number 6. Her beauty shines both inside and out. You already know from my other videos, girls will dress up to impress. I'm not saying every girl does that, but some do. I mean, who wants to look bad in front of the person they like? In addition to that, her personality just builds with sweetness and niceness. That'll get people turning heads towards her because when girls are nice, they get a good reputation for it. You rarely hear people talking about nice girls finish last because they don't. They finish first and get dates. Number 7. She finds ways to talk to you. This is definitely not for a shy girl, but some girls will find ways to talk to you. Whether it's just walking past and randomly striking up a conversation with you or just simply teasing you in the hallway, these are good indicators that she wants you to notice her. In addition to that, if she's asking you a lot of questions about you, you already know she's interested in you because at that point, you probably won't forget that girl who asks a lot of personal questions regarding your life. Number 8. She's all over you on social media. If for some reason, if she's having trouble getting you to notice her in person, she's going to have to do it digitally. Whatever platform you're on, she'll do her best to follow you or add you as a friend. And if you were to post something, she'll like it or comment on it so she'll pop up on your notification feed, thus getting more exposure points. This way, you won't forget about her. Number 9. She's full of energy around you. If she's quiet and shy, the possibility of getting noticed is pretty low. But if she's pumped and eager to do things and not shy at all, her likelihood of getting noticed is pretty high. Plus, the extra smile and happiness that she brings to the table could probably make you do a double take on her and realize that she could actually be fun to hang around with. And if you think so, she already got you. 
Number 10, she's competitive with you. This is a good sign to tell because this means that she's actively around you. No matter what you do, she's always on the scoreboard right next to you, trying to see who scores a better grade, get the most medals in sports, or just seeing who's a better player in band. You bet she'll be there. This way, if she does top you and beat you, it gives her more reason to tease you. Then you won't ever forget that one day how a girl was able to beat you. Or make you cry. Overall, if a girl is trying this hard to get you to notice her, doesn't it seem right to at least acknowledge her and talk to her? I mean, she may or may not be your cup of tea, but you never know her until you actually talk to her. Talking is free and you don't have to spend money on a date or anything, so the next time you see her, just casually bump into her and be like, Hey, what's up? You're looking good today. What did you put on today that's making you glow? And voila, you probably just made her smile. So don't question if she's interested in you or not. I say just do it and talk to her. Worst case scenario, you just end up making a new friend or you get friend zoned. But don't worry, you still have me. I'm always here for you. If you want, share your story down below and let's try to figure things out together. Okay, see you next week. Bye.